What's it like to win the lottery? It's disheartening. It's horrible. Okay, clearly we have a story here. Over the course of a two-hour exclusive interview with Emily Leach, she laughed, cried, and pondered this simple question. If you had mistakenly given a, a lottery ticket to somebody, whose is it, yours or theirs? I think it's mine, because I paid for it. Let's begin by going back. Three years ago, Emily was found to have a massive tumor on her pancreas. She lost weight, moved in with her mom, and had to leave her beloved job at the VA in California. When you came out of all of that, how, how much in debt were you? Uh, about $300,000. $300,000 in debt. No insurance? No insurance. Then in January, she pops into this convenience store in Mountain View to play the lottery. Yeah. Never thinking you'd win anything. Never thinking I would win anything. Oh, she won a ton, a million bucks with one ticket. What was that moment like? It was, it was surreal. Now, by all accounts, Emily has a good heart, but she's a soft touch. Did people start contacting you? The first night that it aired, I received a call from a family member that I hadn't heard from ever. Um, asking me to help pay off his house. He was going to lose his house. My biological father, who hasn't shown any interest in me in 15 years, is now a good friend of mine, I guess. You gave him money? He's my dad. I, what am I supposed to do? But now, here's where things start getting tricky. Last Sunday, she returns to the same store where she won her million. That's her on the shop surveillance camera. She says one of the two guys behind her recognizes her as a lottery winner and asks for help. What is he asking for? I've got kids to feed. It's wrong of me to ask, but I really do need the help. And he's crying. How do you say no to somebody that is asking you for help, knows that you hit the lottery, knows that you're up on your luck right now? Way up on your luck. Incredibly, she's going to buy another big winning ticket. Now, here comes the crucial moment. Here comes the crucial moment. Flustered with tickets, money, and on the phone with her doctor, she gives both men $100. And she says, by mistake, her lottery tickets. The mystery man on the left thanks her and leaves. Your intention was what? To give him $100. $100 bill. If anyone had been next to you at that moment, would they have thought that you were giving him a lottery ticket as well? I would not think so, no. The store clerk has reported a slightly different story. She's weak, uh, but right now I don't know. She buy a uh, three dollar mega for two of them. Uh, she gives to uh, two guys behind her. That's uh, his ticket. No more her ticket. She lied. If that's what he thinks, then that's what he thinks. I, you know, all I know is what, what I did, and I will be the first to admit that I got flustered. I shouldn't have been doing so many things at once, but I was just trying to help the guy. Oh, she helped the guy. The ticket Emily bought and the mystery man took turned out to be a $260,000 winner. This is the moment he finds out. When Emily found out this week, she filed a claim with the Lottery Commission, saying the money was hers. And that's when things turned nasty. I've experienced people calling my home, calling me a greedy bitch, and hanging up. Why do you want the money? I, I don't really. I just want him to say that I bought the ticket. I just want him to tell the truth. In fact, Emily has a deal for the mystery man, and we'll get to that in a moment. But first, a short diversion toward what we might call the curse of winning. Do you know who Jack Whitaker is? No. In this world we're living, it's hard to trust. Together, Emily and I watched an old 2020 story about Jack Whitaker, a big man who won big time. Well, I was hoping I'd win it, but I never believed anybody could win it. I lost everything I held dear in my life. I got lots of money, but the thing, I don't have my family. What do you make of that story? It's terrible. It's terrible. I feel bad for him because he tried to do the right thing. And now Emily says she would like to do the right thing by offering to split the lottery winnings with the mystery man. Even so, 
Is there any part of you, Emily, that says to, to yourself, I'm just going to let this, this go. I've already had a blessing. I'm going to let this one go. But I want him to tell the truth. What could half a billion in winnings buy you? 2,000 new Ferraris, bright red. And when we come...